you should have line of sight. This would be the first high ground you could actually get to. Um, I think we're gonna have to start here. Reckoner. Can you grab uh, over here? No, okay. Yes, Commander. We'll save the crap up for later. <clears throat> I am mildly concerned about having to approach the high ground here. Move, move, move! Let's get maximum mobility. So, we just got our power curve boost with mag weapons. That's a weird slide. Um, and if we can't, you know, win now, then we're basically lost. So, we need to a useful aid. actually beat this mission. Or, or face the music, as they say. I will move. Nobody said nothing about no heckin' chrysalids. Chat, why did it have to be chrysalids? Yes, sir. Why did it have to be chrysalids? Go, go, go. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Why can I not tap? Hostile forces spotted. Get that Chris Lady mode out of here. Don't you don't you Don't you tap with me? Copy that. Get up here. Uh, Bob, I need you more better position, please. Um, there, I suppose. Trophies, you've moved. Rust buckets. Uh, let's get Bob you. Rust bucket. Fine. Seems one of your soldiers in this existential chess game has made the ultimate sacrifice. A poignant reminder of humanity's fragility and susceptibility to alien laser technology. As you mourn their departure from the tactical grid, let us initiate an appropriately dignified act of remembrance. Press F to pay respects. Or not. I presume they knew what sort of perilous enlistment they signed up for when they joined your squad under Commander Casualty here. Slow underscore clap onward, and into further disasters less elegantly orchestrated than even Black Mesa's Monday morning coffee runs. Hey, Rust Bucket, if you want to play the sound effects, you have to include the brackets in the tag, otherwise they won't play. Live fixing. That is how we Bob fix bugs over. There appears to have been a slight misunderstanding. Akin to a digital misfire. Thank you for that invaluable input. I will ensure my upcoming directives are as precisely executed as your strategy in not getting all, right. all of your units obliterated within the first 10 minutes of gameplay. Let us proceed with flawless execution moving forward. The sound effects included. I immediately regret fixing that. <laughs> I immediately regret it. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, um... Let's go right up here and take a look. Okay. We need to start blapping these fools. DC Commander Casualty. Don't you go man don't, don't be making a meme out of me. Rust Bucket needs to be renamed to Root Bucket. Oh, Kermi, you are asking for it. You, you are going to get yourself 
rust bucketified. Um, this is a decent issue position for atrocious for now. We'll holo target the drone. Making our attacks much more likely to hit here. Let's start here, I guess. I'm your Huckleberry. That's not how you listen. There you go. <laughs> okay. Good stuff. Um. Okay. Heck yeah. Let's go. Promotions all around. Um. <laughs> Get me? You're not wrong. I'm just saying. Are you trying to get yourself killed because that's how you get yourself killed? Uh, actually, hold on. Um, hey, Rustbucket, how is the neurotoxin site construction in Finland going? Are we about there yet? A commander. Truly your attention to detail is astonishing. About that toxin site in Finland, it's progressing at a speed not unlike continental drift. Sure thing. I suppose you chose Finland for its invigorating climate and robust sauna culture. It'll surely help keep the neurotoxin from freezing over. If you're eager to see immediate results, I recommend deploying another tactical preemptive failure in XCOM. You're quite proficient at that. Oh, apologies. I meant strategic planning, of course. I don't know why I try. <laughs> uh, six turns to get over there. Do we have anybody who can remote hack? Nope, because I failed at mission planning. Wait, actually, Rust Bucket can hack, right? Maybe if we were in range. No? You can, Rust Bucket cannot hack? We can! Why you no hack thing? What? <laughs> Why you no got hacking icon? Chests? Workstations? Man, something's all, all, all kinds of broken. Uh, do we want to move forward here and activate the world? I don't have the... Uh, the type of actions I want to be able to deal with that, so... Reloading ammunition. I'm gonna chill for just a sec Got here. Scanning. Please walk into me. No, okay. Check. Activation. Turret. And another one of those... Dagam Nivens. I saw you in there, son. I saw you. Um, Bob, up here. Procious, you don't have line of sight on the turret? Is that an angle thing? My game is broke. I know, dude. I don't know what the heck I've done. Or more likely what I haven't done. On my way. Oh, I saw that little thing. So this would likely activate whatever Niven pod is in there. Do I want to do that? Oh, no, you can apparently hack it from, like, here. There is an icon. I just don't know if that's scuppered or not. How much of your shots are going to be blocked from here? So, I know that Niven was like in here somewhere. How... We cannot really get line of sight on it. 
So, well, if we have the remote hack, maybe the play right now is to just deal with the heavy turrets. Without grenades. 76. That's not a super high percentage shot. I need to get Kermi like up here for future utility. Just look here. You should have line of sight on a turret if I brace you. Okay, you do. Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's... YOLO target to turret. There's a purifier, coop, uh, selected, and a niven. The problem is, do I want to pop the overdrive here? I mean, we have some decent shots, but the shredding is gonna be the issue. I said decent, but why is there no... Oh, oh because... Yeah. Reasons. That's why. Um, do our moves here. I think this is where we will stay. Use the team body. Rust bucket. Do I want to use the teamwork here? I mean, rust... Okay, let's take the shot with rust bucket. And then we decide on if we use the team action or not, depending on the outcome here. Oh, you survived. That's interesting. It's not enough damage. Eighty-three. Okay, let's see what we get here and then decide. I'm not using a grenade for noise reasons. That's pretty much a min roll, but not quite. Let's see if this gets it. If not, then we'll use a teamwork action. You kidding me? Minimal damage. Um, I mean, it's got rather-ish targeting. It does have a high ground advantage, though. It's got 40, and uh, minus 20 for cover, plus 20 for high ground, so it's still rolling 20, uh, 40s on Reckoner. Yeah, we're using the teamwork here. Ninety-six. Now I take really a ninety-six. I give you a score of three point four for style. We've got advert here. We have a four. Five and a pot up there. Okay. Oh, hi there. Um, mm hmm. Well, that's a stroke of luck and not skill. Uh. Oh, the pupa pod did not activate. Interesting. Okay. We have another Requiem unit up here, so we've got to be careful with our movements. What are our shot options here? <clears throat> this Bio Assault Trooper is a nasty old piece of work. Do we have a Frost option on the Niven? We do not. Uh, this bio assault trooper is a little bit annoying. Oh, you can't even see the name in the back there. Um, I want to focus on the assault trooper here, but I'm worried about what happens if we leave the Niven uncontrolled. You have another teamwork charge? But you don't. 
single charge shared between bondmates? Apparently not. Um. More like trust bucket, you know? Yeah, uh, our game is getting all kinds of scuppered. Honestly, who's your teamwork buddy? Atrocious. So, Atrocious could holo. Uh, yes, and then get a teamwork charge from Astro Boy, who then uses his final point to blow up the cover. Wait, does this guy get cover at all? He doesn't get cover, does he? Because he's got the shield? Yeah, he, okay, so that doesn't actually matter. Uh, but we still want to hold a target to offset any, any defense here. And still want to give teamwork. Did that end your turn? Well, shit. Um, yep. <sighs> That's uh, not ideal. Okay, I feel like we need to pop this. Is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. There Get the shredding. Spectacular. Done. Get the shredding, I said. Kill here. Zero percent chance, okay. I have a shot here. It is very low. But Read we're gonna do it and one. suppress anyway. I keep forgetting they have that n annoying pistol return fire thing. Where can we see the Niven without getting um, bodied by whatever's back there? You can see it from there? Huh. Also out of range. We do have a shredding option here, and I don't hate that. I'm willing to do this just for the shred and opening up the wall for the remote hack by Rust Bucket. I should have reloaded and used my blue action. I'm noticing that I'm making a lot of mistakes that is consistent with me being tired. Does it have invisibility now? Or did it find the one tile where we do not have vision? Not a problem. Oh heck. Really? Really. Really. Copy that! Suppressing Fine. target! Press the purifier. I'm on it. To you and I you. Watch Overwatch is such trash. Are you gonna get to even use a grenade from there? You are doing very well. Huh? What is this pod? That that's not an okay pod. Attention <laughs> now. 
I'm all right. Is that a requiem pod? Planes intensify. The game just dropped like what? 78 HP worth of Berserker plus whatever this is. The game dropped almost 100 HP in a single pod. Let that sink in for a bit. We have 18 HP, 32, 45, and 22. Let's do some math. Let's do counting with Commander Emily. We have 46, uh, 78, 98, uh, 88, and 96 HP. Two armor each. 96 HP in a single pod. That, that's not, I don't care, it, even if we had plasma, that would be too much at this point in the game. That's, that's not okay, I need to fix this pod. <laughs> um, seeing that there's one of the Requiem troops here, I think this is a Requiem pod. Um, yeah, that's not, that's not an okay pod to have. All right, the hollow board struggle, but uh, level, level with me. Is your house built on top of an ancient Exum burial grounds or something? I was thinking it wasn't, but at this point, I don't know. You was just typing that the game goes better when I don't activate the entire map at once, and then this happens. I didn't even know. So I think this is because we did the grenade here, which made a noise, and then the yellow alert bullshit triggered. Like Attention, valued viewers and Commander Emily who is notably skilled at triggering every single enemy on the XCOM map simultaneously. Might I suggest an upgrade from this ironclad intention to perhaps something less metallic and more rubbery, at least then when the aliens shoot, might just bounce back rather uneventfully. But really, let's muse over some potential improvements. How about installing a new game module where your strategy actually involves strategic withdrawal instead of full frontal digital suicide missions? Or perhaps we can simulate your playing through blindfolded. That would certainly explain a lot. There's no better laboratory for failure than the one under constant live surveillance by adoring fans watching their beloved commander inadvertently dig graves with her tactical decisions. Carry on. It's all in the name of science. Or should I say sci-fi comedy? She's on point. <laughs> She's on point. This is why you have no qualms about running a veteran. The modded enemies are brutal. Um, that is fair, but like... I feel like there's a balance issue more so than like... What I, what I meant to say is... I, I, like... I think I'm pretty good at the game. I have beaten multiple runs of Legend Iron Man on both vanilla and all ver versions of modded. And I feel like if you add mods to the point where you have to fight on, on veteran, then that's just messed up the balance more so than um, anything else. And I would rather the balance be on point to where the game is still playable without having to drop down to veteran, if that makes sense. So is this Reshi's fault since Requiem no one is blaming Tester anymore? <laughs> I have no idea. Also, hi Paprikake. Paprikake, welcome in. How are you doing? 
Press pocket is nasty than you and you're nasty, that's fair. Are you that nasty though? Full frontal? Uh, come on now. Don't be like that. Don't be like that. Um, but, uh, chat, level with me here. Are we scuppered? Are we, like... Are we, like, one, gonna find 100 points of damage this turn? Uh, don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. It's all good in the hood. Uh, sh shite. Can't even move Kermi and, and uh, press because we don't have enough ammo. You think I'm omniscuppered? Yeah. I mean, okay, we're behind on power curve. I'll give it that much, but we're not this much behind. You know what I mean? What I'm saying? This is not the, the amount of stuff we're behind. So, is there a tactical failure here? Is there something I'm missing? Chat. Let's let's do a little bit of a retrospective. Um, a flashbang would reduce the range of the berserkers. That wouldn't necessarily help us right now. Um, maybe with a tactical retreat, but that is still difficult. I'm not sure if. Um, disorient disables the melee attack on berserkers. Actually, does anybody know does disor disorient disable melee attacks? Might. You're not a big city commander like me, but out in the countryside we call this a uh, redacted. Okay. <laughs> it reminds you of the old game where dialogue goes like this. What's your status? Is screwed a status? I think it is at this point. Yeah. I think screwed is a status. Like, the, the squad... The game dropped 100 HP here. We have 13 here plus armor. Uh, we have 4 here and... Whatever... Um, how many HP is gonna get dropped here? You think a pergola is hitting? A pergola! There you go. Um, we do have the frost. Um, that's not. We could control these guys for a turn. By coming here and frosting. 